Okay, hello, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Gemini, it looks like... um there's some frustration because somebody is choosing to walk away, choosing to move on. Somebody feels like it's too much of an uphill battle. They're not getting what they want. It's something about shame also. Somebody has to kind of walk away in shame because something didn't last or something didn't go right or, or they didn't get what they wanted. Um, they were fighting for, but they weren't the victor. Could be you, Gemini, could be another person. It's like somebody's finding balance and leaving and putting themselves first and not thinking about how this either makes you feel or how it makes the other person feel. This could be you. This could be another energy here. Um, here's your energy, the nine of swords. It's, whatever this is, it brings you great distress and uh, anxiety. You might not be showing this, you know. Um, you know, when you're asleep or you're in your room at night or when you're in solitude, there is the breakdown. You have to deal with the emotions and the thoughts. They kind of attack you at that time because you can no longer run from it. You can no longer make yourself busy or busy yourself with any other thing. Um, you kind of have to uh, rest in that energy of, it's like somebody's wondering, is this the end? I keep hearing that new edition song. It's like an old new edition song. It's like, is this the end? Okay, don't get me to sing it, but it, it, you got to look it up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It's like somebody's wondering, is this is it really over? Because somebody is in, in an energy of really putting themselves first, moving away from. They're finding balance and harmony by way of moving away from, getting over maybe the previous relationship, the hurt, the drama, the, the turmoil, the the knockdown, drag out arguments. Uh, someone is just saying it's just not going to work. It's dissatisfying. Um, this could be literally, literally what someone is saying with the magician here. Uh, somebody has like a masculine energy has taken the power in their own hands. Okay. They, they didn't wait for, I don't know. Uh, yeah, wow, as I say that, we get main male. Um, this could be somebody who, they could be your husband. But, you know, when the main man sh main male shows up, it's like somebody in the capacity of maybe you, you wanted them to show up in a different way, a different light. You wanted them to show up as the wealthy man or the official person. But they showed up as the main male. It was like they always had like a singular energy about themselves, a singular vibe. Like even if you were in a marriage or in a long-term relationship with them, it was more so like they were focused on themselves and not the relationship. They were always doing for themselves and not as a whole. They were maybe even planning their escape. Um, they didn't see the relationship as long-term. This is a, a really interesting energy because the main male is kind of like the um, the loner. That loner vibe, like I'll be with you, but at heart, I really could be by myself. I really want to be by myself. I act like I'm by myself. I put myself first. The Six of Wands says that somebody's um, walking off, strutting their stuff. You know, um, they feel like they've won the battle because they just kind of ex extracted themselves from the battle. Like, I'm just leaving. I don't even want to fight anymore. Um, let's see. It, it looks like there was a lot of uh, discord drama within a connection here and, and somebody's gotten fed up with it someone's trying to find perfect peace harmony and the only way they seem like they can find it is by walking away what is this about for my gemini's this could be you gemini this could be someone else um let's see what, what is okay So we got three cards that came out so like blocked on all social media, hook up on the weekend, and then infertility issues. So someone is not able to actually grow the relationship. Now, this could be literally infertility in terms of, you know, a woman or a man being sterile or infertile, whatever. 
Um, but also this also could be the fact that somebody was just not able to cultivate and grow the relationship because maybe they were always, once again, focused on themselves, temporary energy. Maybe they were always plenty. They always had an exit plan. They didn't take this serious. It wasn't a lifelong thing. It was just some, you know, here and now, maybe hook up on the weekend. It was a weekend getaway. It was temporary for somebody that could be you, that could be someone else. And, um, at this point, maybe somebody has blocked someone on all social media or blocked them out of their life with the nine of swords. Somebody is at a place of not being able to cope with the fact that this could be the end. Okay. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. If you took anything from the reading, you could give back by buying me a coffee. But if you can't do that, just let me know how this resonates for you down in the comment section. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.